Um, this is a new shirt. Well, I, I like your shirt, Chris. Yeah, but I, I still look like a fucking serial killer just looking at my reflection. But oh, this is why I have a tough time with Zoom calls because I'm constantly look, looking at like, oh my God, I literally look like Ted Bundy's grandson. Have you got body dysmorphia? What? Have you got body dysmorphia? The fuck are you asking that for? <laughs> Do I look like I have body dysmorphia? You no, know what body dysmorphia is? It's so freakish. It so what are you getting at? There's <laughs> just nothing about that. It's like when, when people like have a uh, unhealthy opinion on how, uh, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's your, you know, like what you see, like what you see and what other isn't a true reflection. It's a very different thing. Oh, I thought you meant like, you know, body, like, I thought you, I thought you were asking me if I was deformed. <laughs> yeah. On about your appearance and how you feel you look. And it's just like, it's just not the truth, mate. I'm not even saying, listen, you know me. I'm not going to say it for the sake of saying it. It's just not the truth. trying to blow smoke up your ass. I'm just saying, you keep Listen, going. I, this is, I know I'm going to sound like a big fat pussy, but I, I read, this is how it happens. Okay. I'm not saying this is an excuse at all. And please don't drive it down my throat that it is. Cause it's not, it's just a fact. I was certainly a victim of a lot of, uh, I, I have, I have developed social anxiety because of being a victim of a lot of like um, uh, verbal torment from a lot of people at once for a very long period of time. And I, a lot of had to do with my height. That was a huge thing. And I think I never quite, uh, that never quite, um, that, that's how it happens. That's how social anxiety kind of like really kind of hurts someone as they get older. It, it stays in their DNA from like a sort of a, a past trauma. And I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because I, I think my height's never changed. And I think that's like a constant reminder of that past. It's not like, you know, someone was small back then and then they shot up and they might still have those past traumas, but like, you know, they're, they're now six foot tall and everything's fine. It's like, I, you know, it's like a constant physical reminder of like where I came from, even though I think I filled out a lot more and not nearly as self-conscious with that stuff as I was like a fucking year ago. Let's address this. Let's address this. Cause this is something you've talked about forever. Your height. Yeah. It's a real thing. It's I, I know it's a real thing. And sometimes I, I tiptoe around cause I don't want to make you feel even more self-conscious, but it's there. It's in your brain. So let's talk about it. I, I read in this Malcolm Gladwell book, not too long ago, there's a little chapter on height and the like disproportionate amount of CEOs in the world. That are, t that are over six foot tall. Um, and there is, a, it's, it's, there is a weird mental thing with human beings where they look at someone who's tall and they, they trust them. They feel yeah. like calmed by them. Like it's why so many, I think so many women are like, oh, like tall, dark and handsome or whatever, that phrase. I think tall is so, the height is such a big thing. It's so bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Like nobody who's taller is, is, is smarter than anybody, but it's a thing. It's a weird psychological condition that we all have that someone who's taller, I don't know if it's like us being children looking up to our parents, but like you look up and someone who's taller, you have a different respect for them. So I hear you and, and, I, and I, I feel bad. I feel bad that you've had to deal with that. But it's, I, I was like looking at myself, this is like when I was like 17, I think. I was looking at myself, I was like, I couldn't believe how tiny I was. Like I was like, it looked like I had a birth defect, how tiny I was. It was pathetic. Like I looked at me and I was like, how did you endure playing football? Like how did you like, cause I forgot how tiny I was like in, in high school, like where I was like really scrawny 
And I just couldn't believe, I didn't even look like a real person. Honestly, <laughs> seriously, I'm not even kidding. I looked at these like home videos. I like, I do not even look like a fully developed person. I don't know. I still have like meltdowns from it for some reason. You do. Still. Well, I like to hear, I like hearing that you've, that you feel like you filled out, you know, cause you, you have, you definitely have, you feel like, to me, you feel like a adult, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know if you look at, you know, if it's the body, it's more of your thing, but like, it, I think you do, you look like a, an adult. You look like anyone. Yeah. I'm saying like, I'm trying to like give you an adult reassurance. Right? Yeah. 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 An adult. An adult. <laughs> you're, it's, it's like, like a human know, being. You're, you're, yeah. you're, you remind me of like a uh, Warwick Davis's assistant in life's too short when she was like, I'm sorry, are you not an adult? I thought you were an adult. <laughs> <laughs> this is between yeah. massive and Tobias. You don't watch Life's Too Short. It's okay. Yo, yeah, Tobias, do you feel uh, so? You're, I don't know, you're like maybe an inch taller than I. Like, we're pretty similar in height. But I think More you're in some departments, tall. not in some departments, Maz. <laughs> Tobias, you keep on going off this myth. I mean, I've seen. I know. Like, yes, it's not. You know what, man? In some ways, a little bit racist that you think. <laughs> oh, yeah, shut up. I know, I know you think it's a compliment. I'm talking about you specifically, mate. Don't worry about the other black men. I'm talking about you. I've seen it hidden in your pants, man. It's like a fucking python. I'm very comfortable with, you know, where I, where I stand. But I do find there to be this weird thing where white people joke about the, the sexuality of black males and see them in a very specific way. I'm just talking about you and your willy, mate. <laughs> Nothing to do with any other black man's willy. I'm talking about you, Maz, from Canada, Toronto, your winkle, mate. What were we talking about? Do you guys Chris. understand how yes, amazing you have it for being, like, the height you are? Do you understand well, how great so, you guys so, are? So, so this is what I was going to say. Tobias, I don't know if you feel the same way, but I will totally be honest and say that yeah. if I am in a room with another shorter person, there is some part of me that I feel like a little more confident than probably than than I would in a in another room. If you were in a room with a person shorter than you, you would feel more confident. Is that what you're saying? Than someone in who is the same height. Yeah, it's like the context, though, I suppose, isn't it? Like, say, if it was, you know, if you're being honest, like, if it was like, a, you know, talking to a woman, it was you and another guy, and uh -huh. you was taller than another guy, then yeah, you would, yeah. Yeah. It's fucked but, up. But, 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 but saying that, it depends on the other guy because you can walk into a, a bar or a, a or whatever and you can meet someone who doesn't look anything special, who's really small, and they just got so they they exude so much confidence. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've seen that as well. I've yes. seen that and I think fuck man. This guy, look at him. You know what I mean? On paper, I may be, you know, more attractive or taller, but those guys are smashing it, and it's just like Jesus, whoa. Yes. That's how you play that the hand that you dealt, Chris. I've said this before, brother. Everyone's got their thing, haven't they, in life? Where where it goes on the scale compared to other people, you know? Who, but like, you you got you you're your own like we all are. But I look at you sometimes, and I want to fucking punch you in the face, mate. Because you've got so much, but yet you look for the bad all the time. Just having a healthy self-esteem, mate, isn't it? And looking at yourself in a realistic, healthy way. It's not... It's just, I, it's, honestly, dude, I, I think I'm so mentally far gone, I don't even know what that you're means. You're not, Chris. You're not, what do you mean, though, you're mentally far gone? Yeah. I don't know what you mean when you say that, mate. You're not... like you. This is what I mean like when you say things like this. Self-sabotaging. Yeah, mate. I don't know how sub, uh, subconscious, self-conscious this is. But I think you deal with a similar thing that I struggle with as well, which is, you know, you hear all these guys who are like, man, man, you just got to like think it and it happens, bro. <laughs> yeah. and, I, and, and, and I know it's like, oh, what a fucking douche. But I get, no, like the secret. I think like, some oh, of it is true. You no, know what I mean? I, I think I try to adapt. I think I try to change my ways a lot more than you might think I do. It's just they, they're just in very subtle ways. And they've been, I've been having a character arc in the last 12 months. I'll tell you that. Good, good. I like I've that. been in my own TV show in the last year or so. And my character arc 
this is the final season. Stay tuned. What do you think is our best cinematic experience we've had together? Dark Ride? I mean, is that even a question? I mean, why? Dark Ride is up there. I, for me, it's got to be. I know, it, I, it, I know what it is for sure. No, let me guess. Let me guess. I like this guy. You know for sure. Is it just the three of us or is other people there? It's the three of us. Dark Ride is a really good one, but for different reasons. Yeah. Uh, is it a good film or is it a bad film? It's a great film. Oh. Children of Men. Huh? That's it, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's just, I just, I just remember... How relevant. I remember yeah. like two, three things vividly that I'll never forget. First of all, just the general experience of going into a movie and just not expecting much and just being blown away. What was the film when Maz was getting pissed off with me and you? Reservation Road? Yeah, yes. Reservation Road. Yeah, I, and, and, I remember that. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, I, I, I think that's, a, I, those are like films that I kind of want to go back and revisit because I'm sure like they were way better than I was making them out to be at the time. Dude, it was, I, it was like one of those movies where so emotional and you guys are like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm in it, bro. <laughs> oh my God. I'll, I'll fucking douches Austin. <laughs> real quick I, what do you think what do you, you guys think of the uh of the presidential election i'm fucking relieved i no, was no. i wasn't sure i wasn't sure with you chris because every now and then like i i don't know if there's like some republican and not that he'll you know be republican we all have different you know thoughts and feelings in the world let's talk about it i like that but you've always had some like interesting leanings you know, at the end of the day, man, I think Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, I, I think they're going to do a much better job because they, I think they just have a soul, you know? Um, and I, I um, and also, but it, most importantly, man, I cannot go another four years with social media negativity about who our president is. I mean, it is destroying humanity, man. And uh, I trust them. And I can't say that I trusted Donald Trump, you know? Just, it's just instinct. I agree. But there's but a lot. Of, yeah, but he yeah, took, yeah. Joe Biden took New Jersey, man. There's a lot of trumpets in New Jersey. Mm, I believe it. What do you think, Tobias? Was it like, I know you're like out, you're in a different part of the world, but. I, 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 listen, man, I don't talk about shit I don't know. Like, I don't know. And I don't, for me to have a really, it's like anything, man. For me to have a real valid opinion on the subject. I've got to know what I'm talking about and I've got to research. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know how many things I talk about? I don't know shit about them. And you shouldn't. I just pretend like I know what I'm talking about. I worked at ESPN Zone for three years. I knew less about sports three years later than I did when I, before I walked into the place. I was jerking in the toilet. That's why. Chris, can I just make a request? Reenact the moment when that lady, those kids were just outside of ESPN Zone and they were singing the, the Fergie song. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, like Mass and I were walking by like, this group of like, uh, there were like a few, I think they were like five years younger than us. They were like kids almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and they're all listening to like Fergie and like that, and, the <laughs> and they're blasting on their like, um, a boot, whatever they had to play music back in like 2007. And like, they were like, uh, they were singing to it and the girl was like, Fergalicious debt, Fergalicious debt. <laughs> And there was like, there was like some kind of like idiot that, that was hanging out with them. Like, you know, and, and he started singing along and he was like, for delicious death, for delicious death. <laughs> and like, it was just one of those many weird things in New York City that Mass and I just noticed in a quick second that burned into our memory as we walked by it. You know, oh, like, nice. I want the stinker. <laughs> the device yeah. Mass and I went to go see Acolytes, this Australian, this awesome Australian serial killer movie of Joel Egerton. And it was in 2008 at Toronto Midnight Madness. And, you know, Midnight Madness attracts a lot of psychos. And we were like super fucking blazed out of our mind. And, like, there was this. Naughty, naughty. Oh, yeah, no, we were blazed. And, like, there was this fucking guy. Uh, like, he was like a foreign exchange dude. And he was with the, in between these two girls. And they were talking about like shockers. Do you know what a shocker is? A shocker, the yeah. sexual thing. Yeah, what well, two in the pink, one in the stink. And, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you, the girl, the girl said to this guy, he was like a German guy. He had an accent. He didn't know anything. And like, and um, and this girl was like, a, yeah, have you ever had a shocker? Yeah. You know, like, it's like two in the, it was like two in the pink, one in the stink. Ah. And, and the guy was like, I want the stinker. <laughs>
Alright, be good boys, sleep well. Alright, you All right. All right, all the best. Alright, bye.